Good morning. I'm here doing my morning reading again. Uh, this time I am using the Creatrix Activation Deck by Melissa Harris. Came with this cute little box. All original artwork. Uh, so it's a really pretty deck. Uh, it's 33 cards with a little book that comes with it to give you some thoughts on the cards themselves by the artist. So we're going to check these ones out. Um, I had bought these uh, as a suggestion. Um, one of my life coaches had this deck and so I really liked it and here it is. I don't use it as often. It's not one of my most used decks but here we go. We'll give it a go this morning. Still really cold out in Michigan here. Snowy. still seem very new, kind of sticky to each other. I actually prefer kind of worn cards, so this is getting kind of hard here. Alrighty, I just do a three card draw and a shadow card, so these don't do reverses either. This is the woman in the well, grace, retreat, and peace. <laughs> this is the call of the wild, initiation, awareness, and passion. And then joy, invocation, open it, openness, and choice. The shadow card, if anyone ever wonders, is the card on the bottom of your deck. Um, and that one's called Ocean Dreaming, Initiation, Flow, and Enjoyment. Alrighty, so these are the cards that I drew today from the Creatrix Activation cards um, and here are some thoughts on these cards here I love the artwork the beautiful watercolors going on here and uh, like I said the cards we got was the woman in the well call of the wild joy and ocean dreaming and reading about these cards and some things that popped out and a lot of these themes I've been seeing in a couple of my readings have come up and here is a uh, the woman in the well grace, retreat, and peace. Um, this one here is about turning inward, about uh, diving into yourself to be able to find some peace, like there's a decision to make and need some time alone to be able to consider those things. Um, so it's a, it's that inner work again. Um, when you are having issues, uh, when the flow just isn't going right, when you don't have that peace, it's time to turn inward and find what you need inside, which we could all use a little of that inner work, you know. Um, the next one is the Call of the Wild, which this one um, is in the initiation one. Um, it really reminds me of the witch's hat from the other day. Uh, in the deck, the rune deck, the woman's runes. And this is about being you, about being, answering that call of the wild, about being the wild woman, to step into that being and to claim it, to be aware and to be passionate. And it's to break free from old molds and old ways of being. So step into that wild woman and claim that passion because that passion has power. Um, the one here, joy, which is openness and choice. And that's, you know, do you actively choose joy? Um, when life throws you curves and challenges, do you actively choose joy? And in a way to expand, to be open more, is to turn to joy and open that way but this really reminds me too that in order to expand you must release so if you're finding yourself not in a joyful place there's something that you probably need to do some inner work with um, and that you need to release for you to be able to expand and to grow and to stretch but it's always a choice joy is always there it's a choice of whether or not you know, you're willing to reach for it. You're willing to do that work for it. 
because it does take work. And moving from a place without joy into joy can be a really big challenge. Like when you're in that dark place, and I know I've been there to be like, oh yeah, just choose joy. Like, oh, that's so easy. And it's not, it is a challenge. Um, and one of the things that I found for me is nature. Follow nature's plan, go out into nature, become a part of nature, and just learn to release that energy. Um, and nature is a good way to do that. So expand, release and expand, release and expand. So it's a great, a great card on that one. And then the ocean dreaming, which goes along with all these other ones. Um, it's the ocean and the water is very much a, a feminine power, the uh, ebb and flow of tides, the flow of emotions um, is definitely uh, a female divine power going with that flow. But the thing is in the ocean is man, the waves come. <laughs> Boy, do they come. And if you've ever been now, I'm from Michigan, so my waves are more from the Great Lakes here, but the waves from the ocean are the same, that sometimes they come and they're so big and you try to stand your ground and that wave whoosh just knocks you right under your feet. Um, you can't stop that wave from coming, um, even standing your ground against it. And sometimes there are emotions like that. You can't stop them from coming. Um, and to stand there and hold your ground and try just knocks you down again. And I, it's a wonderful analogy because the one thing that you can do, you can't, you know, if you're in the ocean, you can't run from that wave. Um, but the thing that I was told is that when that wave comes, you dive right into it. You dive deep into it and it'll wash over you as you go for, you know, through it. And I think that's a good analogy in life is that you can't run from it. You can't stand against it. You need to dive right into it and go with the flow of those emotions and to feel them, to turn inward, to stand in your power, to, you know, release and expand. It's a it's a similar message that I've been getting a lot lately. So just another look at all the cards, woman in the well, call of the wild, joy, and ocean dreaming. So that's my reading today. Once again, turning inward, standing in my power, release and expand and dive deep. <clears throat> I hope you have a great day.